Welcome, welcome. It is the Draw or Die podcast, video podcast here live. And tonight, we are going to... Tonight, we're going to talk about the following topics for artists. Number one, self-sabotage. That you are the own you are your own obstacle. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do an art check-in with the Draw or Die Club, just kind of checking out what's going on around the internets, and a little news update too. For that, <clears throat> we're gonna do some uh, live design iter- uh, um, live design ideation, and um, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, some merch designs and maybe sketch some stuff out live, and. Yeah, so this is the Draw or Die Club. We exist basically to uh, encourage artists out there um, of all shapes and sizes, pros, aspiring, uh, keep you motivated in drawing. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel here so you don't miss any new uh, episodes. We've got also videos coming out on Fridays now, and I do a Wednesday warm-up uh, drawing exercises. So, um Welcome, welcome tonight. Hey, Dan Genovese is here. And of course, uh, Magical is here. Welcome, guys. So yeah, tonight I'm going to do this a little different. By the way, I'm, I'm flying solo. Uh, Alicia's not feeling too well, so I told her she could sit out on uh, on this one. Hey, MF, yo. Oh, there we go. Yo, yo, back to you, man. All right. So we're going to jump right into this because I want to get a lot to talk about and uh <clears throat> if you want to put in your comments and uh, questions or comments in the chat, I'll be monitoring that as well. And uh, kind of go big here for a second just to say hello. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, this is this is really cool. I'm going to do something a little different tonight. I kind of doodle while I'm going through. I thought of a, maybe doing it a different way when I do the... Uh, uh, the show notes and kind of go through the agenda, make it kind of little, just some, you know, learning as we go here. Um, uh, Dan says she, he hopes Alicia feels better. I'm sure she'll, she'll love hearing that Dan. Thank you. Uh, She's a trooper. She'll be okay. Um, So yeah, the first topic tonight, I'm going to do this little action here is self-sabotage. And I'll get into kind of why this was brought up as well this week. But the idea here, self-sabotage, you know, it occurs to me that when I'm talking to a lot of artists here in the club and just people that I bump into on the street, that a lot of times we're getting in our own way. Um, And there's there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, You know, the obstacles that you're putting in your own way, it's just kind of it's in your own head a lot of the times. Um, and this happens to everyone. And how do you get through that when you're feeling stuck and when you're stuck and you stay stuck? Um, and when you draw, when you don't draw, you, uh, don't, you don't draw. (laughs) So, uh, another day goes by, another day goes by and you're still just thinking about it. You're thinking about the things that you want to do and, um, you're not doing them. And, uh, that's basically self-sabotage. We talked a little bit about it in the newsletter, the weekly newsletter quite a few weeks ago. Now, I think we're on week 39 this week. Um, but the idea that this is it right here, there are two minds that exist within, right? Um, you have the positive part of you. We're not going to get too, uh, you know, I'm not going to get too uh, art therapy or anything like this, but <clears throat> that's that negative self-talk that you hear in your mind when you're thinking, oh, why even bother? Um, or <clears throat> this, this, this design sucks or my art's not good enough. You kind of have to train yourself to stop listening to that voice. I can't explain it any other way, but when I hear people say things, I, I identify words like, um, uh, I can identify words pretty quickly, like, um, you know, but is one of them, you know, this, that, but 
you know, I want to do that, but, and that's always the thing. So that's like always the doubt, uh, the doubt part of the whole conundrum for everybody really, but artists, especially, um, you know, you got a good idea for a comic book or an art series and you're, uh, thinking about it, but then, but, but see, you, you can start to hear it, but you start to doubt it. Right. And, uh, another thing is that the, the thing that I really don't like that I've just thought about recently, and I do this too. I'm not immune from this. I, I get stuck as well. And then I have to, I kick myself into gear and I think, what am I, what am I doing here? I'm self-sabotaging myself. And I, I've been able to be self-aware of that now that I can see, I can see it and hear it in other people and without calling them out. Um, you know, I don't want to be, you know, preaching to artists or anything like that. That's not the point. I just want them to be kind of self-aware. You know, you know that you're talking yourself out of the projects that you want to do. Um, and this is a big one right here. The, the idea that when I, then I'll, right? Like when I have this thing, then I'll do the thing. Or, okay, I'm going to wait until the time is perfect. Or I don't have enough money. Or once I get the next paycheck, then I'll blah, 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 right? And of course, there are things that hold you back from having specific tools. But this is the thing right here that, that that voice um, inside holds you back from like, don't do that. Stay, just think about it. Be careful. Uh, it's almost like the, um, uh, you know, what do they call it? Uh, the lizard brain, you know, like stay safe, you know, this is dangerous. Don't take any risks, you know, no risks. No, no risks. All right, let's write that down. Um, and it just starts to just become procrastination at some point. And you you really have to, you know, stop, stop that procrastination. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can do that real easy, you know, really simple. Um, but the excuses you know, the excuses and the resistance. We'll talk, I'm going to dive into the, I love to talk about the resistance stuff. It's, it's pretty, pretty amazing uh, topic too. Um, but these, these, when I'll, then I, or when I, then I'll, if I do this, then I'll do that. You know, one more day is going to go by and another day is going to go by and then it's going to be a week and then it's going to be another month. And then you're going to be like, Oh shit, that was last year. What do I do? Like, um, now it's too late. And then that's another thing. Now you're saying, well, I would have done that, but now it's too late. Right. Um, and I'm talking about, you know, uh, I'm talking about projects here. You know, I'm talking about this could go for deeper stuff in your life <laughs> as well. But specifically for artists, there's a lot of regret that builds up like, well, I'm too old now to start this, you know, graphic novel or I'm too old to start this thing or I, I missed my boat or I missed whatever it was. Right. Um, and besides having your own self-doubt, that guy right there, jerk, um, you also have resistance all around you. And that, that comes from Stephen Pressfield's book, The Art on War. I talked about that in the weekly newsletter before. Great book, quick read. Um, and he talks about uh, the resistance not being like, t it's not supposed to be people. So I'm not saying like... Uh, you know, I'm not saying it's your wife or anything like that. The people misconstrue that I'm like, get rid of these people. It's the energy, the resistance that's keeping you from doing the thing that you want to do. Um, I'll often, I'll often find it whenever I, you know, it feels like some kind of dark magic that keeps you from doing something. The minute that you carve out a day to work on your own stuff, <clears throat> um, you carve out a day to work on your own stuff. And then boom, there's the father-in-law saying this needs done or, you know, a friend needs some help. Okay. And then you feel, okay, I'll do, I'll help. I'll do that. I'll do this thing. So, you know, when I get back to that whole scheduling out and being honest with the people around you, that's what uh, Stephen Pressfield books, uh, Stephen Pressfield's book talks about is that when you're looking to become a professional or even like, listen, the word professional, if you're not in it for the money, great. 
you still have to think like a pro. So if you want to get anything done, you have to carve that time out and you need to let the people around you in your life realize that that's the time for you to be working on <clears throat> the thing that you're working on. Um, and that's for you. So you learn how to say no. It's hard to do, especially for very nice people. I used to say yes to everything. Um, uh, you got to you got to really get that in check. Um, <clears throat> and it's very difficult. There's resistance um, all around us. One sec, guys. Yeah, there's resistance all around. You feel it. It never goes away. It's always going to be a force uh, to reckon with. <clears throat> and then, you know, the idea, whoop, what's going on here? All right. I say it a lot in this podcast, in the newsletter, in the reels, that um, a pencil in motion stays in motion. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that, too. Um, <clears throat> wow, I got a little cough going on. Sorry, guys. Yeah, a pencil in motion stays in motion. And, you know, when it stays at rest, just like I said, it's staying at rest. You're not going to draw anything if you're sitting around thinking about drawing. Oh, tomorrow, you know. It, maybe once I get through this day, then I'll, right? Um, if you start drawing something, I guarantee you, you will keep drawing and you, you got, you know, we'll get into, we'll get more into that too. But um, if you start going even small, you're going to keep going. It's going to give you momentum. You're going to want to do more and you're going to need to get through those bad drawings. You're going to need to get through the scribbles and all that stuff. And you can't just jump into some giant project. You, you know, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, but um, the idea that you don't have the right tools is BS, you know, you say your weapons uh, are already at hand. And um, you have everything that you need right now. And all you really need is a pencil and a piece of paper, uh, a, a notebook paper, um, a field notes, an iPad. You might not have an iPad. You might not have anything fancy. All it takes is, you know, the tiny little post-it notes um, and just start drawing, right? Even if only it's just a scribble, right? Here's what Dan says here. I need the perfect conditions to draw. I can't just sit down with a sketchbook and draw at will. I have to get past that. Yes. Yeah. Um, oops, I just went to the, get back here. I just, I just re-unerased my, <laughs> my show notes here. All right. So where are we? You're sabotaging yourself, Dan. You got two minds in there. You got to stop with the, 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 the conditions have to be perfect. Uh, get your pencil moving <laughs> and your weapons are already in hand. All you need is a pencil and a little notebook, field notes, anything like that. And then you can always just start with a scribble. And this is a, surpri a surprise scribble challenge. Um, <laughs> yeah, Magical says, stop that, Dan. All right. <laughs> We're not going to badger you too much, Dan. I think we all feel it. Um, so, yeah, scribble challenge, you know, on days that I'm feeling like rough, like, you know, I don't want to get into negativity, but I'm like days that I got a lot of garbage in my brain. I, I feel that energy. I put it on the paper and I just scribble away. Right. Just do a little scribble like that. And then just look at it. And I think about, I'm trying to get my brain back into, you know, using my imagination and getting rid of the funk, all that stuff, the resistance, the, BS that's all around you and getting back into your art mind and even little things can become bigger things. I love that part of art for me. Um, that's, that's the killer. So like I'm looking at this as I'm talking and, you know, I usually always see things like a bird. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick, just real fast here. We'll fade this layer. We'll fade this layer out down here. 
Okay. Let's fade this layer out. Put a new layer on top of that. And yeah, I mean, I love this part of art. You do this stuff in like, you know, the early school years and stuff like that, but you don't really, um, you, you take it for granted. Just the real simple things, you know. Um, the fun part, loosening up. Even now as I'm talking, I'm like thinking about it. And my mind's, you know, uh, flowing a little bit. So I see his little butt here. I feel like this guy's like slide. Look at this. He's kind of, he's kind of like sliding down a hill or something. Right? And it's just doesn't have to make any freaking sense it's a bird he's freaking sliding down a hill all right and it's just you've brought you've done the magic now this is the magic where you're pulling something out of nothing um well now it looks like he's just shooting way down all right let's go to my eraser brush okay yeah and you can noodle with this. I could spend, you know, 10, 20 more minutes doing these. Um, so that's the first, it's just the, the quickest thing that you can do. It's in the Defeat the Funk uh, project that I have that's that's free. It's on the channel too here. You can find the Defeat the Funk three video series. Um, go back, revisit that. You don't have to. Just pull out a sketchbook and do this. Uh, hand a sketchbook to a friend and say scribble and then just try your best to pull something out of it. Um, you got to stop thinking big, <laughs> you know, that's the, that, that goes against what you're usually taught in school and in life. You got to stop thinking so big cause it, it paralyzes you, especially for, um, uh, you know, artists and especially for, um, comic book artists. They think uh, this is just an example. I always have at the tip of my tongue was I talk to all these artists that are like, um, I, I want to make this 80 page graphic novel, but, and then whenever I have this, then I'll do it. I've got my notes and I got my dad, that, that, and they're thinking about an 80 page piece of thing that they've never even done an 80 page comic book before. So, you know, they need to start small. They need to start with one panel, two panels, three panels, four panels, draw a story, figure out your composition in that story, whatever is going on, scribble it out figure out your your scene, you know, what's going on. Draw a story in those four panels and put that out. You don't have to put it out anywhere. You could you could start putting that out in small doses and kind of test your market. You can uh, see how you're feeling about it. Maybe you maybe you have a really big story idea and you start to do it and then you hate it. Um, and the beauty of working small is you can just say, okay, I, I want to move on now. Like I tried this. It wasn't exactly what I wanted. Now I want to do this. Right. Um, but when you commit to something very big, it's going to take a lot of your time. So don't sabotage yourself that way. That's back to the self-sabotage part. Um, I see so many artists do it. They want to skip to the good part. They want to skip to having, um, having the main, uh, the main thing. And they want to get that book, have it in their hands, but then all the work that they had to do. Um, uh, I'm always going to reference comic book art because that's the, the realm that I came from. Uh, but I've seen it also in tattoo art. You know, people want to skip uh, the small steps. They want to skip being a, um, <clears throat> they want to skip being a uh, apprentice. They don't want to really train. They just want to watch a couple videos, something like that. And then just jump right to being, uh, a full-time uh, tattoo artist with a bunch of clients. That's not going to, that's not reality. I mean, it could be, but you're going to, you're going to scratch up a lot of people's uh, arms doing that. Ask any uh, tattoo artist that um, it's the bane of their existence. The scratchers out there, you, you do have to start somewhere in that business, but you know, it's here nor there. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the little editorial for tonight. Stop sabotaging yourself when you are not, if you're, if part, if this half of you is saying, I would like to do this thing, you know, remember that your time is very limited 
on this earth <laughs> and it's never going to come back again. It's the only thing that you have that you're wasting away. So you need to um, uh, start somewhere, start small um, and stop listening to this guy. So I'm going to bust into this real quick. The, what I do, and this sounds a little crazy to some people, um, you have to listen to yourself, listen to this weird voice that's in your head going, you know what? I don't like that artwork's not good. You need to start to talk back to that voice inside when you're sitting quietly. Don't do it in a public place. Um, and you need to ask it why. So if it's saying that drawing sucks, why, what can I do better? Ask it for advice. And then it's like, well, you could learn to draw some hands, mister. You know, and then you're like, okay. So then the positive guy needs to be like, okay, I'm going to go learn to draw some hands. So you start to use this voice that's usually putting you down or the self negative self-talk and start to use it, trick it into helping you. Because sometimes that voice might be telling you a sliver of, something you need to work on deep down that, you know, you know, you know, you're not going to be able to do an 80 page um, graphic novel because you're lazy <laughs> and that's the, you're lazy. Rah. Uh, you need to uh, go, well, why, what can, how, how can I better plan myself out? How can I, what can I do here then? How can I, how can you help me? And that voice will get tired of complaining and it'll just start to be helpful in a way. And then sooner or later, it'll just go quiet because you're not listening to that and you're not listening to the resistance um, uh, in your life anymore. So that's that. I talk about that a lot in the weekly newsletter. So make sure if you're not a member of the Draw or Die Club, make sure you go to drawordie.club. It's a free weekly newsletter. We, we dive deep into some of these things um, and I'll be doing that more here on this podcast. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well if you're if you're digging the the vibe. So pencil in motion stays in motion. Your weapons are already at hand. You've got to start now. Even if only a scribble, we did a quick scribble challenge. Stop thinking so big and think small. That's going to get you uh, get you moving. Lee said, "Oof, I'm already really bad at trying to do giant projects but never getting past that planning stage." Yeah, because that's the fun stage, right? Like the planning part and the thinking about it part. That's the that's where it's like it's new and it's fresh and it's fun. Um, <clears throat> but then when it really gets down to it, even if you have the energy to do it, the resistance and things that are around you are all the things like, but I need this thing, but I don't have that. And I don't have this and I could use this help. And coloring takes me too long. Uh, coloring used to take me a long time. Um, that would be my roadblock all the time. And I would start to use it as an, as an excuse um, and just being self-aware of that. So um, yeah, interesting, interesting things to think about. We're going to dive into uh, club drawings. So I'm going to take a real quick look at the Instagram. If you hashtag your drawings, draw or die club, I'll take a look at them live on the uh, podcast here take a look at some of the uh, drawing prompts we have daily drawing prompts too at the club and uh, we'll do that right now so over on instagram we've got hashtag dry or die club there's you know 4800 something posts in there now that's that's pretty groovy got this going on i'm going to go into the individual posts those are the top posts going on see this one <laughs> all right Hans Gruber, that's from the Die Hard prompt. We're going to go back because I saw it in pencil down here. All right. So first up, we know that Tom Romano from the club is doing a 12 Days of Christmas. And this looks like day number two, right? Yeah. Because the first day was like <laughs> an orangutan in an orange tree. Uh, and then today's two hogs something. I can't remember. It's a funny version. I'm behind on that. I'm not. I'm probably not going to have time to do it. To be honest with you guys, uh, I'm. I've got some other projects that I'm working on behind the scenes, and I'm really pinched for time. But I'm still drawing every day. Um, what's this? I'm not sure what this is. Bagman or Badman? All right. That's cool though. I like that. I don't know if that's a prompt. Um, doesn't have to be a prompt. 
we had a Grinch prompt the other day. So that's a cool step-by-step -step how to draw the Grinch. That's fun. New waiver. All right. I like that. That's great. Oh, here's uh, Tom's first. I don't know how long it's taken Tom to do these, but look at this. He's painting this uh, orangutan in an orange tree. <laughs> That's fun. I don't even. Oh, it, it it would be a challenge for me to to draw uh, more animals. <clears throat> Here's another one we have from uh, uh, Gerard. Uh, this was a naughty elf prompt from the other day. So it looks like this elf decided to uh, <laughs> light the sleigh on fire. Not nice. Naughty. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, that's awesome. Check your Christmas lights. You are killing it with these, man. It's awesome. And uh, Matthew Rice, uh, JDL, he, uh, <clears throat> he's he been doing this <laughs> bah, hung, bah Humbug uh, comic book. Uh, or comic series, not book, comic book, you know, comic series over there too. So, And it's pretty amazing. Like, look at that ghost of Christmas past, right? Yeah. <clears throat> or no, that's I don't I don't remember which one this is. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, great. This is great. Here's the Hans Gruber as a pencil. <laughs> that was for the Die Hard prompt. Great. Um, what else we got here? Let's scroll down. Actually, I saw the Hans Gruber here for seven bucks. So someone's wait. And hopefully, this is you selling this dude. All right, okay. <laughs> so you're selling your originals great <laughs> i'm sure there's a hans gruber out there a fan that will uh, buy that for seven bucks from you um let's see scrooge all about the fifas and seth blather project i don't know what this is he has some cartoonishly evil features that pair well with all the alleged corruption he may or may not be involved with made him very interesting to draw it's cool i don't know who this person is but i'll look into it Oh, there's a there's a there's a drawing, um, a uh, process drawing too of that. That's cool. Um, yeah, that Bah Humbug comic is really great. I really look forward to, to seeing all this art every day um, when I check in. Um, there's a nice uh, zombie poison ivy by Anu. Uh, she was in the um, definitely in the. Uh, Promptober drawing challenge. All right. Very cool. Just a little check in into the club drawing. So make sure you're hashtagging your um, drawings, draw or die club. We'll take a look live, put them up for you. Maybe you'll get some followers or just kind of, you know, get a shout out here. Um, thanks for taking part and uh, putting your work out there. I think it's important. Um, uh, you know, you got all these tools around you to use. You might as well uh, use them and start. Um, uh, start uh, uh, expressing yourself, showing your work, show your work um, all the time. So, okay. The fun thing tonight we're going to do is the live design process. So, and before I do that, actually, I got a, I got an AI topic update. I didn't want to, I didn't want to start off with the AI art topic again, because it's just every freaking day. There's new AI outrage. But today, across all social media, I'm happy to report, I guess, that a lot of artists have finally stood up and said, you know, uh, cue the Twisted Sister music. Uh, we're not going to take it anymore. And they're posting this symbol, like no to AI art. They're saying, hey, you can have fun with AI art, but don't call yourself an artist if you're not the one that's drawing the art and it's being taken from other people's art, right? Uh, we've talked about that in other episodes. I'm sure you're aware. If you're not aware, it's a crazy topic. Please go listen to that. Learn about it. But keep an open mind. But um, don't uh, let's let's be kind. Let's not hot trash any digital artists out there that are using AI. Please don't do that. Um, there will be uses for it. It's an odd time. There's some people that are really worried about their livelihoods. Um, that, that rely on these things. Um, some children's books authors I saw or some children's book illustrators um, were very, um, very upset because of uh, some things that, that there was a children's book made out of just nothing but AI and that chat GPT thing that's writing the stories for you too. 
So it's a very um, <clears throat> anxiety-filled time. Uh, and I saw a funny comment about this AI art topic. And um, <clears throat> it was just feed it Disney art. <laughs> so just go there and start feeding it as much Disney prompts as you possibly can. Disney princesses, Disney, whatever, Mickey Mouse, Goofy, every single Disney character, Spider-Man. Let's, let's get in there and just feed it everything that Disney owns. And if you know why I'm saying this, it's because... Uh, Disney's got the lawyers. So suddenly the, <laughs> suddenly, there's artists out there that didn't like Disney and they're like, you know what? We need to go talk to our old enemy, Disney, because they can help us destroy this, this menace <laughs> of AI art. Um, and, you know, if it gets around that there's artists making weird mashups of Disney princesses and things with AI art, uh, those apps are going to get shut down um, pretty quickly. So... That's the tip. Feed it AI art. Um, let's see. I wish ArtStation was more supportive of the movement. Yeah, there's a lot of companies. I mean, it's you're going to see it more and more. Um, and the only people that really, truly understand uh, are the artists that are really worried about this. So, um, But hang in there. It'll work itself out. You know, that whole NFT thing pretty much died pretty quick. And it was only a year. It was only a year ago that artists were like upset about NFTs and that kind of went, um, that kind of went bye-bye. So, all right. So little story for you. We were working on um, some merch designs because uh, we, we've had ideas for merch designs, just like the slogan shirts and things like that. Um, but we don't have a lot of time. And we're not putting out a lot of merch. We, we have the merch at the uh, uh, the Draw or Die uh, Club. And um, put that banner up just while I'm talking about this. Yeah, we've got that merch up there. But we, you know, we have some buttons. We have some hats, uh, things like that. But we always had a bigger idea is to have more stuff coming out. And it's basically to help support and help encourage artists out there. So I was looking around to get pencils made. Um, and I'm going to tell this pencil story because we're called draw or die. Right. And everybody, everybody that knows me knows that I love like Ben Franklin and all that stuff. But like when early on, like when I was looking for merch back in last um, <clears throat> April, April or May, like early on March, April, because it was before the three rivers con, I reached out to some pencil companies and I said, Hey, can we, um, uh, could we get some custom pencils? So Blackwing uh, might, maybe in the future we'll have some Blackwing pencils, but they don't allow you to resell the pencils. You have to spend quite a bit of money to get these pencils made. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's another company called Musgrave Pencils. Now I'm not going to, I'm not saying that they, that I'm not saying anything bad about Musgrave pencils. Okay. Musgrave pencils are great pencils. The Tennessee red um, I'm, I'm a big fan of their pencils, <laughs> um, but you know, they knew the name draw or die. They knew the mission. I told them, uh, I was asking if they, we could collaborate on like a cool collector's box and they make these things here. I'm showing you real quick if I can, if the, if the feed gets pixelated, uh, you know, if, the, if it gets pixelated, we'll figure it out. They've got these cool, what? Oh no. Boom. Well, there you go. It's full of pencils. Get it in here. It's a pencil case. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, there we go. It looks like a giant. There we go. Let's find, figure out where the. It looks like a giant pencil, and I was like, "Oh, that is super rad." And they make the packaging too. They make. They have a packaging company. So I was like. I want that. I want to have like, I want to have like a draw or die kit. You know, I don't know how much this would even cost, but I reached out to them and had a conversation and we were talking about making some, um, uh, making some pencils together. And they sent me a quote and all that stuff. And I just never, I just haven't had the time to, to follow up on it. 
Um, and just a couple weeks ago, they uh, launched this design <laughs> on their on their um, on their Instagram, right? And it was very similar to a design that I already had uh, going, which we didn't go with this because uh, Alicia told me that that looked very like she just, I won't say what she said, but you know, she just was like, don't do that one. That looks weird. Don't do that. <laughs> so, um, but, but we did like this, we like this weird graffiti looking pencil. And then of course the little States say, stay encouraged. But their whole thing with this was, you know, Hey, it's like the join or die thing. And Ben Franklin was the first, cartoonist we talked about that in the jar die newsletter we talked about that in the the a couple of the drawing prompts early on that he was the first uh so i just thought it was odd and it's not in their store anymore um it's on like a, maybe they sold out i don't know but it kind of like was like i was like that's weird and i commented as the jar die co instagram and said like oh wow cool design like i mean i would yeah i like this design because i'm a fan of the original thing and you know has nothing to do with politics or anything like that it's just like this is just whatever but yeah it was like obviously somebody was like hey did you hear about this thing draw that sounds cool it's, that's what it felt like it was like wow it was inspiring enough to them so this kind of you know i kind of kicked myself into gear where i'm like you know what i need to i need to start working on some merch designs um and and alicia's been working on the new shop uh, she just she just put up the new shop like yesterday or the day before, uh, just a new layout. So we've got the hats and things in there. And she's like, hey, I need some more shirt designs. And I'm like, well, okay. Uh, so we sat down last night and we did all these. And I'm going to kind of go through them. And you can tell me in the chat which ones kind of resonate with you. Um, and this is also tying into the idea of you can start small. You can start with just your, um, uh, you know, your pencil in a little tiny field notes. This is how a lot of uh, professional um, shirt and merch designers do it. I do it. Day, it's my day job too. Um, when I start doing a concept for a shirt design for someone, this is how all designs usually start, right? Um, so I think I started with, you know, we started out with like draw now. And, you know, I was, I was toying with, the idea that the pencil is mightier than the sword or something like that. It was kind of, eh. you kind of start off with these ideas and you just got to free flow them a little bit. So we were talking about shirts. We have the draw forever design with the two hands that are drawing themselves. Um, that's called draw forever. That's probably going to be a shirt. We're talking to some screen printers. Um, so that's going to be something cool. I want to do the, the graffiti pencil sort of thing. I like that look of that. Um, and she's like, what about a shirt that just says artist with the thing? And I'm like, maybe, right? And then I'm like, well, I like tattoo culture too. I like the old, or like, I like the old school, uh, you know, stay lucky and hold fast and all that stuff. Um, uh, stay sharp, right? So I started getting into stay sharp. And then another iteration of that, right? So you can see this was the first one. I just wrote it down. I just wrote down, you know, stay sharp. You think of the words or the concept and then write it down. And then you start to boil it down. This is the process. Um, oh, Alicia said, oh, hello, Alicia. You must be feeling better. Thanks for thanks for joining the podcast. She says, the Musgrave, Musgrave one looks like macaroni. You're right. It does. Maybe that's why I like it so much. I'm like, that kind of gives me a macaroni and cheese vibe. Um, so you see here, I start, stay sharp. Stay sharp. How could I maybe have a pencil coming up in here, right? So we're starting to use our art brain here. That That's interesting, you know. I'll mess around a little bit there. Then I'm like, well, what if it's the thing that divides the design and then the, the sharp point? What if it's in the center like that and then the sharp point going out? This is just fun to do. And you can do this. Um, yeah, right. Keep calm and draw on. That's what, yeah. It's a good one. I'll draw that like, you know, things that are familiar, of course, like keep, keep calm. Right. We, everyone knows those keep calm shirts. And then I would do like a scripty font probably there and draw on, you know, that's, 
I'm sure somebody would would like that, whatever. And then maybe you have like a nuclear explosion going off. <laughs> Up there. Like, don't worry. Just keep drawing. <laughs> Draw to the end, to the very end. And then um, let's see. So yeah, well, we we're talking about stickers. I said about how, <laughs> you know, it's funny where this these conversations can go because uh I was saying like, well, you know, art's kind of addictive. And I drew a little syringe and she's like, no, don't, don't do, don't do that. <laughs> this is not about drug addiction or, you know, and then she said the word art bomb out loud when we were talking and I'm like, Ooh, ooh I like art bomb. I don't know why. Um, and then like, then I was like, well, what about make art, <laughs> you know, make art, not war or something like that. I don't want to get political, but uh, make art, not war art now, like right the freak now, you know? And then I started to mess around with a bomb. This looks, this is terrible, but you know, I was like, that's the shape of a bomb. I mentioned how, uh, I think it's Bobby hundreds has, or the hundred, no, it's Bobby hundreds. He's got that little, like little bomb bomb guy. I think if I'm, I might be gotten the name wrong, but he's a well-known, uh, you know, cartoonist guy that has the bombs i think it's hundreds um brand and so we're talking like because a lot of these could be stickers things that you'd slap on your sketchbook um i'm an artist not a fighter <laughs> i like that we'll write that down um maybe i'll work on that one in a second um i liked never doll right because like you got to stay sharp because i was like oh stay sharp what's the opposite of that kind of um, and then never dull, right? Stay sharp, never dull. And then it kind of came to me that, um, people like to do those like pictures of their pencil with just one more, like they can get one more drawing out of it. So a little stubby pencil is what I started drawing all over this sheet. And that one just kind of really stuck to me. I started to draw the artist one out there. You can see that. Um, yeah. And then, so then I got to, uh, yeah, just keep drawing, like whatever. That's kind of similar to keep calm and draw on. And then I got to this one and I was like, okay, I think this is something never done. Like you're never done. Um, the pencil's never done. You're never done. You can get one more drawing out of that mother, you know? And then I, I did the, and I started going off that tangent, like, or that kind of idea. And then the not done yet, maybe a pencil going this way, a pencil going that way, or it's a broken pencil, like pieces of it, like it's snapped, but it still can work, you know? Um, so these are just some of the concepts that we were working on live sitting on the couch. Yeah. You know, never. And so I just kind of was, that's how I go. Like stay sharp, never dull, never done, not done yet, never finished. And maybe it's a scripty font, right? Um, like I kind of want to wear the never done shirt, you know? Um, yeah, I can't, I can't decide on never done or never dull. I like them both. You know, we could pop, we could probably do both, but we're looking to do a, maybe a little screen printing thing, but we could do stickers and test them and see like which one, which one does better. Um, um, so never finished. Yeah, the but but first I draw like is like the whole thing about like but first coffee, because <laughs> uh, I drew that uh, I thought I thought of that idea in the morning, because that's what I do every morning you know before my day job, I sit on the couch for an hour and a half maybe something sometimes two hours and I'll get some of these um, drawings in or some inking in, and I'm like I have my coffee and I draw and it just uh, sets up my day pretty well. Um, then I started thinking about Bob Ross here and went. Well, there's another thing, fail faster. So we say that a, a lot at work-related things, you know, you want to, and it, it works for art too. Like just get in there and start drawing. Um, fail at it. Draw the hands terrible. You got to draw them like a million times, right? So that fail faster thing, I don't know what what graphic goes with that, but I like that. I would, I'm you know, I'm basically going to wear these shirts for myself too, I think. So uh, then I got into, we really like this one. The, the Cause I, that was my first sticker design was like a flaming pencil. 
So you might see a cons a, a version of that um, <clears throat> in the Wednesday warm up logo. It's more iconic or something like that. But but in this case, I was just you know doodling. Lisa, this is how small these are when I'm working on them, right? They're just little tiny. Fill up a whole page of these, and it starts to look kind of, kind of cool. And then your brain is just in that zone, and you're and you can just pump these out. Um, but the no mistakes thing, and then. I never thought of it like Alicia said, but she said, well, what if it's like a comet that's hurling towards, <laughs> you know, the earth or something? And I'm like, well, yeah, that's a good idea. Or like a missile or something. <clears throat> so then I started thinking about uh, no mistakes. Like there are no mistakes. You can't mess up. You could fail. So the no fit fail faster and then the no mistakes, but then the no mistakes and the Bob Ross thing, right? Like, cause he's like, there are no mistakes. There's only happy accidents, kids, right? Like this is the first part. Like there's no mistakes, you know, there are no mistakes. And that kind of cuts to, um, uh, that kind of cuts to the whole idea of life itself. Maybe something a little deeper there, guys, like, there are no mistakes. Things are happening for a reason around you, that kind of stuff. But also you're, you're not making any mistakes when you're, then I was just like, so we got the, we got the no mistakes. There are no mistakes and then zero mistakes. <laughs> right. Um, so that's kind of how the iterations go here. And I got some space in here. So I'm going to work on some of the ones that, that um, let's see, uh, where was it? And that's how the design, that's how the dinosaurs died. Yep. Just a giant flaming pencil from this guy. Funny you mentioned that. Let me go look for something real quick. Uh, when I was first starting my, <laughs> oh man, I don't know where it's at. I know it's in here. It must be in here. Uh, 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 come on. I hope I can find it quick. Oh, there it is. There it is. Shoot. Uh, yeah, I was working on some of these. Um, drawings for YouTube, and I had this was a this was a cartoon about um, <laughs> this was a cartoon about trying to tell uh, you know get in like we got we got to get out of here. You're going to the old dinosaur cartoonist and telling them, "Come on, you got to go to web comics," and uh, uh, they're like, "Get off my lawn!" <laughs> and here comes the asteroid, like aiming right for him. That was going to be a thumbnail for uh, one of the uh, one of the original YouTube videos I had. Maybe I'll still use it, like um, just because, like, yeah. I mean, I could I can get into. I won't get into this too deep, but uh, whenever back in the early days of <laughs> of, of web comics, two thousand two, two thousand one, um, there was like the old school guard of of cartoonists and. Uh, they didn't really like the webcomic guys giving away art for free online. Let's just say that. And they were like, you're going to destroy, you know, you're going to destroy the freaking, uh, you're going to destroy our careers. And it's, isn't it kind of funny that it seems similar to the AI art topic right now too, that a lot of people are like, you got to get out of here. But like, no, nah, man, you just got to keep innovating, getting your rocket ship and blast off. All right, cool. Um, that just reminded me of that <laughs> actually. So got a lot of stuff. Look at all this drawing in here. Jesus Christ. All right. That's a lot. So I like the, uh, someone said the quote, like, uh, I'm a, f I'm a, I'm a f artist, not a fighter. There are no mistakes with a cross dot eraser. Yeah. I thought about the eraser uh, thing too. So let me go back here. Never dull, never dull. I'm going to find it. I'm an artist, not a fighter. So I immediately, when you said that, like if we were in the room together, I might think of like boxing gloves, <laughs> like a boxing glove design. Like, I don't know. I'm just going to draw little tiny boxing gloves and I'll zoom in on them. Oh, like the kind that, that hang. Oh, I got it. Like, like there's the boxing gloves, right? And then they're hanging on a pencil. Boom. And then I'm an artist goes up there. Not a fighter. That's a little that's a little big of a design for me, but um 
artist fighter. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of how I, you know, and then, and then I might iterate off of that. Like another thing could be, oh, I forgot the R. All right. Could be, um, <laughs> you know, if you wanted to get into like a cool little illustration of a, of an artist, but I want to be more, I don't know. I wouldn't want to just do a, a dude, I guess, but like, could be a guy like with his dukes up, you know? And he's all like got a black eye, you know, and he's missing the teeth and he's happy about it. Right. Like, I don't know if you can, you can kind of see this, like, this is just a little tiny scribble. I'm not even figuring out that part yet, but like, he's got his dukes up and he's been beat up kind of like the kick-ass movie. Right. And then he's got a pencil shirt on or something like that. That's kind of fun. Um, and and again, this might not work as a, this could not work as a shirt, but it might be a cool little little sticker that you put on something. Um, I like that. Yeah, holding pencils, right? Oh, let's go like this. All right. Yeah. Hair's all messed up, maybe. Whatever. Right. You don't want to get too, I, I won't noodle too much with this, but these are just the little concepts. Like how, how do they look? What, what are the, what's the topic? How do they look? Let's turn that off. All right. Yeah. So that's very fun. Like we're, we're thinking about these. Um, I am fleshing the one out cause I just liked it so much. It's the never done. And we're going to use a font for this, I think, too. But I, I always like to just ink out the fonts real quick. But, you know, something nice on a shirt, I think, for not, something big and bold. And I like the fiery pencil. I like that part. Um, just the idea of keeping a pencil in motion. Um, I can sit and doodle this stuff. And that's what's fun about this, too. And it kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier was... Um, it goes back to, you could be at, I mean, I'm not saying I do this guys. I'm just saying you could be on a meeting at work or something and you could be doodling something small. Um, we all have a friend. Um, we've got a friend named Brandon Carr. I think he used to post his meeting notes <laughs> and they're always like crazy monsters and stuff. Um, and actually, you know, when you're, when you're doodling and scribbling on notepads and stuff beside you, you're retaining the information that's being said out loud better. There's some kind of activity that goes on in your brain um, that makes you retain things when you're doodling. Um, you know, and I, I wouldn't know what, what I'm doing right now, but like it could just be like little stubby pencils, you know, I just like, I like little, I love those photos I see when an artist is like, just one more, just one more drawing out of this one. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, definitely working on this stuff. And Alicia's really busy with that new website too. Like, let's take a look at it really quick. Actually, why not? It should just be under draw or die dot co. Uh, I got to do a video background here. Um, there will be one. But yeah, we've got the, uh, the buttons there. Series one buttons. We still got a good good bit of those left. Don't have many hats left um, at all. But yeah, this new site is pretty cool. Um, little donation thing on there. Uh, all the TikTok and Instagram. Th I got to get back on TikTok. Just having that time. Also, it's kind of weird to see my face with uh, my baby face now that I've grown some kind of weird beard. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a cool, like, she did a really good job. She's having fun with this. And um, we're trying to put the digital products on there, too, so I don't have, like, multiple uh, things going on. So the brushes and things should should be working on there right now. It looks like they are. Um, 
And then there's also links to the YouTube here and the newsletter. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, it's looking really good. It's really appreciate the, uh, the work that Alicia's put in there. So definitely check that out and, you know, get some, get some art for yourself or, or get some merch for yourself, or get some stuff for your friends. Um, do it up. And uh, yeah, I want to put out some stickers because I like stickers and, you know, uh, we have some fun. We have some really, really fun ideas. I don't want to talk about too much, but some, you know, sketchbook type stuff. Uh, I'm curious to see if like people might want, um, we, we have sketchbooks everywhere, but I would like to have some kind of like um, higher quality thing or just something that's like belongs to the spirit of this uh, uh, draw or die club. So that is the, uh, those are the designs I'm working on right now. And um, I think it's, it's quite a bit, you know, it's quite a bit to be thinking about. Um, yeah. You also kind of have to like figure out like what, what someone might want to wear. So I'm going to listen to the audience. I'm going to listen to the other artists and, um, find out from there. You guys kind of guide this ship, this pirate ship that we got going on. Um, let's go back to the uh, show notes and make sure I didn't miss anything here. Oh, I was already in there. What am I doing? So that's probably going to wrap it up for this episode. So make sure that you are definitely subscribed to the channel and join at the draw or die club too at draw or die dot club the links are in the description we'll have some other links down in there i appreciate you joining tonight and um please uh stay encouraged out there and make sure that you're not self-sabotaging yourself and draw something every single day and i hope that you uh hope that you do that and show me, please email us, send it to us, put it on a pigeon. We want to see what you're up to. So if you hashtag draw or die dot club on your, um, your social medias, we will take a look and find it. And, uh, we always love seeing the art uh, out there. Really want to encourage you to, uh, keep drawing every day. Thanks for joining. I'm going to head on back to the drawing board because I have a project I'm working on. Uh, this this train never ends, but I'm glad to have spent this hour uh, talking to you guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, joining the chat and chatting tonight, and uh, we'll see you real soon.